Oh. I'm a pervert. I know. People are more fixated on how big your Hello. butt is. The front part of it. I'm going to look at your breast, bro. I'm sorry. You guys got me going crazy. I never thought that I would get so passionate about titties. that women should be able to free the nipples or not. Me, respectfully, I'm an advocate for it. It's gonna take me a while to be sexually desensitized in public, but respectfully, I'm going to take three snapshots. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna keep it pushing, respectfully. Let us watch these gorgeous people rank themselves by breast size. Everyone tell me what is the ideal breast size. Like one that you can at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I feel like a C is a good one. I like, small yeah. C, C, yeah. yeah not you could big, push it up big, and have C. more. Yeah. Or you could leave exactly. it down and be chilling. Okay. Okay, chat. Chat. Chat, you heard the question. You heard the question, it is time for you guys to tee up. I can't be the only person putting myself in harm's way. What would you say is the perfect size? What would you say is a perfect size? If this was a booby, if this, I agree, I think it depends on body type. I'm, I'm big on it fitting your natural curves. But to me, I am not really a I'm not really a big, big breast person. I won't lie. I'm not a big breast person. To me, this, this is a nice, it's a nice solid grab. It's a nice size. This is a nice size. What is this? Like a, a C? Is this a C? I like it big enough to put one on both shoulders when I'm... <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I like him big enough to put one, uh, both shoulders when I, yeah, wait. <laughs> yeah! Maggie, Maggie, welcome back. Welcome back, Maggie. Thank you so much. Thank you for the seven months, the seven months. How would that feel? Wait, how would that, how would, both shoulders? Wait, so that means they're also big and saggy, right? So you like them, you like them heavy set, big and saggy. Cause in order to put them on both of your shoulders, hey, who, who, whose grandma are you fucking with? They got, they gotta be hella long, bro. You fucking with Dumbo? God damn. God damn, I didn't know Dumbo was real. For me, perfect size for me. Or even smaller. Because, hey, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Small tits deserve love too. Small boobs, they deserve kisses and loves too. Okay? All that attention you be giving to everything else... The small tits deserve the same amount of attention, bro. I'll be up on that bitch like, that's how I be loving them. You got to do the same too. <laughs> what, guys? Like what are you can telling least, me to like, stop, bro? I'm, I'm educating you guys. I think that is a decent size. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I, I feel like a C is a good one. I see. Like, small C. C. Yeah. C. yeah. yeah. You not could too push big. I say small C. C. More. Small C. Yeah. Or you I like my B's. Big B, small C's. Do any of you amazing ladies uh, name your boobs? <laughs> Mine have to do with the size. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. What's everyone's like go-to style of bra that they wear? I ain't never heard a girl name their girls. Yes. Wait, you really, Maggie? You ain't never heard a girl name their girls? Nope. I mean, I'm sure someone has. I mean, I name. I used to have a name for my dick. Like, like. Well, I didn't name my dick. All right. 
My first girlfriend named it. You guys want to know what it was named? I don't name my nuts. I don't name my nuts, but I name my dick. I, well, I mean, I didn't name my dick. Look, my shorty growing up, my first girlfriend ever, who happened to be the first person that I lost my V-card to. She was experienced. She named my dick Chewbacca. She named it Chewbacca because I had her going <laughs> every time I was up inside that bitch. Every time I was up inside that bitch. I had her moaning like that shit. So she named my shit Chewbacca, bro. Anyways. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. That's demon possessions? That's how you know I laid down, bro. That's how you know I laid down. That's how you know I laid down. Anto performing a seance. <laughs> See how my, my, my cheek vibrating? What's everyone's like go-to style of bra that they wear? I honestly only ever really wear sports bras or like bralettes. Um, I'm just not an underwire girly. Like I just, I find them so uncomfortable to wear like a full on bra. Gosh, I, I can only find like select think... styles. So like the only things I can find are like the balcony type bras and they all have the wire and yeah. I need the wire, so. Okay, okay, okay. So just based off of that already, sports bra, non-wire, she has the luxury of choosing. She airs on the smaller side. I was right. Shorty next to her can only use wire and has to, it's hard to find bras. She's top three contender, bro. She's top three contender. I told you, bro. I told you. I call my shit Yamcha the way it's so fucking used. Doesn't like to wear bras. Me. Me. Lupe. <laughs> Destiny. I think maybe a clarifying question is like, if you have to leave your home, do you like to wear your bra or not? Comfortable without a bra out in public or no? No, not comfortable no. at I'm all. Comfortable. <laughs> okay. I'm comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm okay, okay without it, uh, to be honest with you, because I go to Mexico and it's more free, so you can not care about what people say. I still say, think so my assumption with her mind, being so still on the lower side is right. I think it depends on the way that people look at you. Like, I think it's not bad to look, it's bad to stare. You should probably come over to this side. I think she should be, yeah. I How I feel like about ladies first. going braless? Yeah. I... Can anyone suck? It's so, it's hard for me. I think women going braless is a good thing for them, right? Because it's good for their health, right? If this shit's uncomfortable, it's good. But at the same time, bro, at the same time, bro, at the same time, bro, I'm still from that generation where Hey, free the nipples, bro. If you want to free the nipples, free that bitch, bro. Free that bitch, bro. Janet Jackson, free the nipples, bro. Make like Jordan Peele, bro. Get it out. <laughs> like, I'm all about it, bro. I'm all about it. Free the nipples, bro. Free the nipples, bro. The only, my only thing is, I think it can be distracting in the wrong context. I agree, Al. Yes, I agree. My only concern with people going braless right is that some of my friends i love them i love them i love you guys dearly some of you guys some of my friends are very attractive and very confident with their bodies so there will be times when we're out in public we're going to dinner or something and they be rocking a fucking mesh shirt a mesh fucking shirt and it be looking fire on them with no bra bro no bra i know where niggas but at the same time bro you look good i'm going to look at your breast bro i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i know it's fucked up i'm a pervert i know but your shit be doing that thing bro and we're at a nice restaurant so the lighting and shit is perfect bro and you looking bad as fuck bro respectfully 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 you're looking bad as fuck bro 
and I'm eating this nice ass steak. And every time I take a bite and look up to have a conversation with you, they're just like, hello, how are you doing? And I'm like, huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, Bob, 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 Bob. I like your shit, bro. Don't worry, bro. Brown, brown nipples over everything, bro. It's okay, Bob. It's okay, Bob. Hey, Bob. This weekend when we head to the party, bro, I want to see you free the nipples for the one time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This weekend, Bob, free the nipples for the one time, gang. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's a bit much. I low-key would feel uncomfortable. That's what I'm saying. That's the only thing. But at the same time, at the same time, and women do have a point with this, like their breast has been over-sexualized for so many years that they're like, yo, just get over it. Don't sexualize our breasts. But at the same time, that's hard to say because even women, like, like they be saying that to the men, but even women be seeing breasts and shit. Twitch on some horn. This is like the third or fourth last year. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Grant. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, but like, Grant, 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 Grant. You're in. You just delivered your first message. What are your thoughts? Are you a part of the Free the Nipple gang? Or do you think you want them reserved? Free your nipples. All your. I'm sorry, but like, if the thing is thinging, if the girls are sitting pretty, respectfully, I'm going to take two looks, maybe three, and then I'm going to keep it pushing. Like, if they say big boobs need bras, then how come the big dudes ain't wearing bras too? Yo, yo, Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> Imagine if dudes just be overly bulging their pants all the time. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm, yo, imagine, imagine, imagine if I was walking around with my short shorts and you just saw my twins just fucking, you know, just, you would feel uncomfortable, bro. Like, imagine if I'm walking around in my gray shorts all right. And already as men, already as men, we can't control when our shit goes rock. We can't control when our shit goes rock, bro. The minute our shit goes rock, I know you guys are uncomfortable. So how do you think we feel when your shit goes rock? You're walking around and your shirt is rubbing up on your shit and your titties go bing. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, ah, uh, shit. That was my first message. My first message I tried sending was preach free the nipple, motherfucking nipples. <laughs> w, W, Grant, W, W. Free them, but pay attention to the situation. It's like a dress code. You can't show up to the opera in a ratty t shirt and flip flops. Have some decorum. Thank you. But right now, we are in the era of women empowerment. So wherever they go, it's free the titties and let your ass hang out, all right? And once women are over that, then things might change. But for now, me, hey, they can do their thing. They can do their thing. For now, I'm gonna let them rock. And I'm going to sit here respectfully. I'm going to sit here respectfully and observe and be a supporter of the movement respectfully <laughs> such facts that's why you gotta wear band-aids and pasty uh pasties you can go braless and stuff see and i like that i do like that i do like that and what's even cooler is um some of the stickers and everything are like uh, uh designed like honestly if i had the position or something to make like fashionable titty things i think we're gonna hit a point we're gonna hit a point in the future where it will be fine for women to free the nipples right as long as they wear their pastries and they're gonna be like some styling art pastries that like cover like the front part of it that way all you see is side boob all you see is side boob and it's gonna become high fashion bro i need to get on that I, i'm telling you it's gonna happen 
It's gonna, I have the idea right now, but I just don't have the money, the position, or the clout to do it. And I'm a nigga. The, 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 women are sick of niggas making women fashion so like it's not gonna happen for me unless i unless i get some more clout and i'm in a position but it's gonna become a thing bro <laughs> they got skin tone shades you can get that so they're gonna get skin tone wider fashionable one that way all you see is side boo from the front side boo from the bottom side boo from the top and it's gonna look bad as fuck and bitches are gonna look bad as fuck shorties are gonna look bad as fuck you seen a shorty in the Hello Kitty pasties? It was a statement for short. See? Side boob is already fashion, but you still have a dress on. You still have a shirt covering it up. That's why you see this slight side boob. Now imagine if it's all boob, all side boob. Everything side boob. You guys got me going crazy. I never thought that I would get so passionate about titties. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Let's not lie. I'm a nigga, bro. I'm a, I'm a man. Of course I'm passionate about titties. <laughs> I'm an advocate for the rights, bro. Respectfully. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Bitty committee need love too. That's what I was saying, bro. That's what I was saying. I told him I'd be up on that shit like. You know what I'm saying? The itty bitty titty community needs love on God, bro. <laughs> on God. Look at what I paused on. Can y'all read that? I think it's like dudes trying to self suck. Every lady's tried. Guys, guys in chat. One, if you've tried. Two, if you have not. Don't lie. Don't fucking lie. One's in chat if you have tried. Two's if you have not. Sovine, don't fucking lie. Out of everyone, I know you fucking lie. Don't you fucking lie, bro. Don't you fucking lie, bro. I'm a big dude, so yeah. Ricky! <laughs> yo! Yo! Al, you're a fucking liar, Al. You're a fucking liar. You a liar. Ricky real as fuck. Ricky flexed on us high key. Actually, he didn't flex on me because we all know. We all know. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. I've tried. You want to know why I've tried? Because I've passed the Big Sean test. So when I was younger, I had to try. I had to see. I had to see. Who's passed the Big Sean test? Anyone passed the Big time? Anyone else passed the Big Sean test? Any anyone else pass the Big Sean test? <laughs> Ricky be slapping him. <laughs> Ricky, no, 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 no. Ricky, the type of nigga to look his shorty dead in the eye and do the helicopter dick right in front of her. He'd be like, "Hey, babe. Hey, babe, you like this?" And then after he do that, after he do that, he look at her and do this. I lay down, don't I? I lay down, don't I? I, I lay it down, don't I? Ricky, Ricky, Ricky be like this. Rick, Rick, Ricky be like this. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky say. Ricky be like. Hey, shorty, she'd be like, I want to know how big it is. And Ricky, we all know how Ricky, if you guys have been in the chat, we know that Ricky got that voice. Ricky be like, <clears throat> oh, you want to know how, you want to know how big it is, shorty? Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck, I ain't even been drinking. That's crazy. I'm just off the high of seeing you guys again. God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. Ah, I forgot how to stream on oh, God, bro. I forgot how to stream. I forgot how to stream. Oh my God. They're on nipple. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yes. my God, I'm dead. Who said yeah? yeah. She has Bridget. to be on that way. Bridget. Okay, I think I'm not Bridget. Wrap that shit around like a belt. Hey, Anise all down here also Not on yes. my resume, Anise. though. Anise, you oh, can yeah. suck on your own nipple, Anise. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, think you should me. probably go a little bit back. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. So do we feel like the two that could suck their own nipples, they should probably be like At all the way over there? Or yeah. Could everyone well, talk? Well, just because you can suck your nipples doesn't, cause doesn't it have to do with body proportion, right? Just cause you can suck your own nipples doesn't necessarily mean your tits are big, right? Wouldn't it, cause wouldn't that have to deal with both? Like obviously they'd be moderately big, but wouldn't that also have to do with your body type and your flexibility, right? Cause it's not like you're, cause like I can suck my own titty, bro. Wait, is that TOS? Is it TOS if I suck my titties on stream? Can I not suck my tits on stream? I can't, huh? What? What? What, guys, what? Don't be weird. Don't be weird, I had an itch, bro. I had a fucking itch, guys. Y'all are so fucking weird, bro. Calm down, bro. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Tell me what in their mind is the ideal breast size. I feel like, mm, like one that you could at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah. Agreed. I agree. Yeah. I, agree. I feel like a C is a good one. I see. Like, yeah. Small C. C. Yeah. yeah. Not you too could big. Push not too little. And have C. more. Yeah. Or you could leave Back it down in. and you're chilling. Yeah. Has anyone ever considered surgery? 100%. Oh, yes, yes. A thousand percent. percent. Every day, right? Yeah. I've actually had surgery already. Oh. Did you regret it or you were happy you made that choice? So I actually got it done in Tijuana, in Mexico, um, with, I'm guessing, not board certified surgeon. So then I don't necessarily I'm regret she got it. it. I just wish reduce. I had gone with a better surgeon. I know that like a lot of influence comes from societal standards, um, but I think ultimately you can always Boy. talk to your doctors about you know, what would Boy. be the best decision for you, but w if you have the money Boy. and the time, w you can w do it, like, do whatever is going to make <laughs> you happy. I feel like you should probably but move over there. super cute, too, though. Okay. That's what I'm and saying, And then if you though. went to Tijuana, I'm going to guess it was probably to go get bigger. Yeah. yeah. So how old were you guys when you guys got your, you started getting, like, breasts and having I Like, late eighth grade. Third? Fourth grade? I want to say, honestly, like, 17. 17. I feel like, say for, for me, me, like, when my breasts I'm like started growing, to like that was, like, when seat. I started to become a woman. And I don't Those know, I like just feel like range. that was a big transition part. It's kind of when you get your period for the first time. I feel like people who were, like, uh, later bloomers might be like a little more towards the right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think you want to switch. Yeah, we should switch. Okay. Okay. I think you should go a little. Tijuana, bit. not the choice for a boob job. <laughs> Any back issues? Isn't Tijuana yes. where people go to get back BBLs things? as yes. well? Yes. yes. Why oh, do people go to Tijuana? Is it I just super cheap? I get tension headaches by the end of the day. I think a lot of it is linked to my bra. I Bus do have jobs a and, back mm -hmm, pain and mm -hmm. like trap pain situation, but I don't get the tension headaches. So I feel like that should be more this way. So she had breast reduction surgery. So she used so to have guys, bigger breasts, it was more but she was reduced. From like society. TB, not TBL, BBL. I think society tends don't to be Don't they go to Tijuana for that? Um, whether it's like the Hollywood, like blonde bombshell situation, or whether it's like a more cultural perspective where like Latinas are expected to be like curvaceous. It's usually large breasts. Yeah, like, that's what yeah. they go for. I agree. Yeah. For me, when men try to put their opinion on breast size, it makes me want to change who I am to be something that they don't like because I feel Like, they sexualize breasts so much 
that it makes me just want to run in the opposite direction of what they want. God, I feel like I shouldn't be a... Uh... I feel like I shouldn't be reacting to this anymore because, um... <clears throat> um... For me, when men try to put their opinion on breast size, it makes me want to change who I am to be something that they don't like because I feel like they sexualize breasts so much that it makes me just want to run in the opposite direction of what they want. Fair play. Yeah, Fair growing play. up in high school and junior play. high, Fair play. it was like so awful for like guys to like backhand compliment, you know, when they're like, oh, like, it's okay, you don't have this or you have this that's better. That was always frustrating when I never guys did that. would compliment you, but also like completely offend you. I've lived I in was America, never that tight. But I also I never did that. my entire summers in Japan and the societal expectations specifically from straight men that judge women are so different. Everybody over there, the expectation is to have like smaller breasts. Whereas in America, I feel like a lot of people think that you have to have large breasts. How does everyone feel? I feel like we're good. Yeah, hmm. I'm good with this. Would you agree with that, guys? I feel, I don't, I don't think Americans, I feel like maybe if you're in the South, but like generally from what I see, people are more fixated on how big your butt is rather than how big your breasts are. I feel like people don't care nowadays. I feel like in today's era, not that many people fixate on how big your breasts are, more so how, how well your breasts are proportionate to your body. I feel like people are more fixated on how big your butt is nowadays and how your breasts, I guess, overall adds to that figure. That's what I feel like. Cause I feel like people are more so obsessed with the, the whole figure instead of one or the other nowadays. But if they had to choose, it would be the ass. The way to compliment women is on things that they could change within a day, hair, nails, clothes, things they have a choice in. I fought with that, Maggie. I fought with that. So stop shitting on us for not being six foot. I can't change my height. Compliment my shoes, bro. Compliment my shirt or my pants, bro. Like, goddamn. I feel like general America usually refers to white taste. And s yeah, I agree with that, boy. I agree. I agree. I do. I do know a lot of white men who love big titty goth chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of white men that just love big tits. So yeah, that actually makes sense. White taste and sensibilities, because I know that's not the case in most non-white communities. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. You, I agree, agree. I look at her Madden playbook before anything else. You want to see if she's going to run a fucking screenplay on you before? So I'm a professional bra fitter. I've been doing it for just over a year. Um, basically, there's two measurements. There's an under bust measurement and there's an over bust measurement. So you take right some notes. tape measure, you'll measure around your under bust. That number, if it's even, take that number. If it's odd, round up to an even number. Then you'll take okay. your over bust number. Um, and each inch of difference between your under bust and your over bust is a cup size. So for example, I measure 40 around and 45 over. Five inches of difference is A, B, C, D, E. So I'm a 40 E. Oh, oh! Damn, you learn something new every day. Okay, okay, okay. These are all very gorgeous women. You did not know that? Boob math indeed. Yeah, boob and math. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hello. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Oh, Hello. Yes. So You're cute. all gorgeous. Oh, this yes. is so cute. So, smallest in seventh, Cameron. It is what See, it is. I was right. <laughs> I was fucking right. I was right. I told you. I told you, I told you, I was right. I was right, bro. Them, them, them robes. <laughs> hey, you always <laughs> <are> <laughs> yes. Six. 
life. I was surprised by Lupe. Just the personality is just so great and infectious. I don't know, I like the big boobs. Her? So kind of have to have a little yeah. bit of confidence in you. Fifth. Lupe. Maya. Ooh. Fourth. Ooh. Destiny. Third. I like that name. Amanda. Second, Bridget. And first, Anise. So two, I remember talking two out of my about what I was gonna be doing this weekend, and my little cousin heard the conversation, and I heard him talking to his mom on Facetime. She was like, "She's gonna do a booby video. I think she's gonna win." <laughs> Cameron, just say your your bus size. Dumb Thirty-two cousin. B. Thirty-two ah! B. <laughs> Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm thirty-eight C. Okay. Twenty-eight. I, I, I was so scared. I was 30, so scared. I was so scared, bro. G. Forty-two G. Thirty-one I. I. God. God damn. I think I threw them off because I was all the way over there, and I'm definitely not there. <laughs> uh, I do believe it has to do a lot. That must be so much pain on their back, bro. I have a breast I've size never, that is I've, I think I've heard G, but not I. seen as really small and not very appealing because I've always been a big girl, and my breasts don't match my body. So it's, it's it has been an issue, but I think it's more the way that I carry myself. So who was the one who got breast Her surgery? back must hurt, bro. Oh, so you got them larger? Yes, I got them larger. I had some breast tissue prior, and then I lost weight, and then I lost my boobs, and then I got them back. But I wait. wish I went to a better surgeon, that's all. Wait, 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 wait. So she had back issues. Wait, so she had back issues and lost the weight. Wait, fuck. wait, 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 I'm not. Me. Oh, so you got them larger? Or yes, I got them larger. I had some breast tissue prior, and then I lost weight, and then I lost my boobs, and then I got them back. But I just wish I went to a better surgeon, that's all. Okay, so she had breast issues, and I'm assuming that she had to lose weight to make up for whatever those issues were. And then, because she wanted to have her breast back to the normal size she got surgery right that that's what i'm assuming i i'm thinking i didn't know that there was um bre well she said that she had breast issues and then lost the weight so maybe well no that's not back pain i don't hmm i don't know Let, what if i put this on youtube bro leave a comment below what issue that could be i'm trying to figure out weight loss will no i do yeah i know that weight loss will reduce your size but I'm, un I'm trying to figure out if she had to lose the weight because of whatever breast issue she was having. Cancer? But you, just losing weight isn't gonna stop breast cancer. I mean, maybe, maybe. It didn't look like she had a surgery scar or anything there. You lose the whole thing. Well, sometimes, not all the time, Maggie, because my mom had breast cancer and she did not uh, lose it. Um, um, so not all the time, not all the time. Uh, there is still a way if they catch it early and everything like that. But I don't think, depends where, yeah, yeah. But I don't think cancer, I'm curious. I don't think cancer is the reason. I'm wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if it was just like, maybe there was too much fatty tissue or something like that that was like clogging arteries. Or like, you know, maybe, maybe there was something clogging her arteries with like the fatty tissue. She had to lose the weight. That way it could help her breathe better or some, or help like her blood flow. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, but they look nice. So. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Did anyone have a different idea of what their breast size was before they just got measured? I thought it was a double D, but I was a G. Yeah, I thought it was a 40 E, but I'm a 42 G. <laughs> I think I'm an A, honestly. Do you guys know what the national average breast size is? No. What do you guys think the average breast size is after hearing all of this? After seeing all of this, what do you think the average breast size is? I don't. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie's concerned. Maggie, you got to go hit up a professional, Maggie. You've been lying to yourself your whole entire life, bro. I think in, the, in our country, wait. Hey, honestly. Did they say in our Do country? Do you guys know what the national average breast size is? National average breast size, so in, in the states. They got the measuring shit changed and no one told us. <laughs> I feel like the average, 
I feel like it would be in the D's. I'm not going to lie. I think because like a lot of Americans are overweight. So I feel like it would be in the D's. I feel like, yeah, I, I think it'd be in the D's. No. no. It's a 34 double D. What? Double D? I'm what? See, oh, double, I'm double D. Double D? Yeah, exactly. No wonder they're sold Is out. Is that bigger than you guys thought it would be or smaller? Yes. Bigger. Double D, yeah. it's bigger. the cup. It's the whole thing. Half the stores don't sell that size in store. Right. Like, that's crazy. Like, we all have we all have boobs. Like, yeah. why, why is it so taboo that, like, women have cleavage and large breasts? If you have big boobs and it's not. you love them, that's awesome. If is it has you health issues. Bro, I must be living in a them, different that's world. That's also awesome. If you have small tits, it. who fucking cares? Yes. <laughs> yes. Itty bitty titties rise up. Itty bitty titties rise up. Itty bitty titties rise up. But am I living in a different world? Because I didn't know that cleavage and bigger boobs were so scrutinized. I always thought that I was the, the odd one out because I prefer... Uh, uh, smaller sizes. Like, literally every nigga that I know likes big boobs. Like, I don't... I used to have two girls that had to pay hella money for bras because they would get them... Cu they had to get them custom made. See, it's double Fs and double Gs. In my birthday, in my, in my... But I be alone, no. In my birthday, I just wanna, I just wanna see the fucking phone blow. 